All right, the House and Senate, they have both passed gun reform legislation, but a final bill is still being negotiated. The House bill is a lot longer, I think about 100 pages longer, um, and expands the red flag law. What part of any compromise do you think is most important? I think what's most important is that we ensure that so-called ghost guns, where you can fabricate a gun out of any materials nowadays, are taken off the street because you talk to our law enforcement, you talk to our district attorneys, that's what they're most concerned both about. Both bills have that both, included. Both, both bills have that, a little bit different. Um, I'm happy that our bill had the full endorsement of the Mass Chiefs of Police Association and the DAs, so I know that the conferees are working very hard. I am confident that we will have a good comprehensive gun control bill on the governor's desk before we end session. There, there is legislation in the works to make some of the pandemic era policies permanent. For yep. example, outdoor dining, yes. one of them too. Very popular. Uh, unlike the House, the Senate bill would not allow cocktails to go. Supporters say it's become very popular. Do you think it'll return? I don't know. I personally do not support cocktails to go. I believe and, and just, we, we have cocktails to go. It's called package stores. Yeah. You know, we have bricks and mortar businesses, retail establishments that that's what they provide. And that's the way our liquor license to either on premise or off premise consumption. I personally have not heard from one restaurant about cocktails to go. I've heard a lot from inside the building. I hear right. a lot from the media, but from right. restaurants, they want outdoor dining. We they also want outdoor dining. They, that's their number and, and, one priority. Do you want outdoor dining? I want, absolutely want outdoor dining. I love to eat outdoors. Yeah. And we eat out a lot. My kids are gone now, so my wife and I are so-called empty nesters. So we eat out a lot. And yeah. um, I've never had a restaurant tell me that having cocktails to go is imperative. Some restaurants have said it's helped them. It certainly helped them through the pandemic. Right. Do you think that it could still wind up in any final agreement? It could. You know, everything's uh, subject to negotiations. Um, so, uh, Chair... Uh, Mikeowitz and I are in the middle of that conference committee, so I will never compromise the integrity of the conference committee, but we've been doing it together for a while. Mm -hmm. We were both appointed respective chairs of ways and means on the same day, the 14th of February, 2019, Valentine's Day. So yeah, on Valentine's know. Day, I text him happy anniversary, you know? <laughs> and we've completed five budgets together, countless bond bills, countless supplemental budgets. You still love the job? Yeah, I still love the job, and I still love working with Chairman Mikeowitz. And we... Uh, we both have respective members that we need to represent on the conference committees. We have respective opinions and priorities of our chambers that we need to represent on the conference committee, but we'll get it done. Senator, it's always great to see you. Thanks for coming great in. Great to be here. Thank you so much.